I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will review how to solve inequalities rather polynomial inequalities. The question before us is solve x times 3 minus x times x plus 2 whole square less than 0. Now to solve inequalities you could use a couple of methods. Few popular methods are you could use a graph or you could use a table of values we say intervals you can check intervals using tables using tables so we'll discuss both these methods in this particular video and I hope that will give you a good idea I'll also provide you with links which you can check for practice now we have this polynomial which is x times 3 minus x times x plus 2 whole square less than zero. Now it's a good idea to rewrite this factor taking minus as a common factor. So let me rewrite this. So when I take this minus outside I get x minus 3 okay. So my inequality becomes minus x. So I've taken this minus outside. So we get x minus 3 times x plus 2 whole square less than zero. Now this is a very interesting step because at times uh, you may actually sketch it in the reverse direction. Now that clearly shows that your leading coefficient is negative, correct? And we do have a polynomial here whose degree is 2 plus 1 plus 1, 4. So it's an even degree polynomial with negative leading coefficient. Is it okay? So that is how you could actually get a fairly good idea about your polynomial itself. Now to use both these methods, first step is always to find zeros. So let's find all our zeros. In our case, the zeros are at x equals to 0. This one is at x equals to 3. And then we have at x equals to minus 2. Now these zeros are not part of our solution since we are looking for something less than zero. Is it okay? Some of you could actually make it positive and reverse the sign also. Anyway, I'll continue with the same equation. Now once we have these zeros, we need to check their multiplicity or order. Or sometimes we write order. Now, for the first two zeros, there are the multiplicity is 1, but for the third one, the multiplicity is 2 because of this number here, right? So, x plus 2 times x plus 2. There are two zeros at this particular point. Now, we also know here that degree is, is 4, right? 2 plus 1 plus 1 degrees 4 and leading coefficient let me write short form is negative we are not going for the number but anyway it's negative 1 in this case it's negative let me write negative that is critical to understand right negative leading coefficient now we can actually graph this function and get the solution clearly and we can also form a table and check the intervals in which this inequality is satisfied okay so let me first graph this so to graph this we have all the required parameters so what I'll do here is kind of graph it on this side so let us say these are our zeros I'm just drawing lines which are going to help us even to make the table okay so so we have these lines let me extend this side okay not bad so i'll use more of this side so our zeros are at minus two zero and three so let us say this is minus two for us so zeros at minus two then we have one zero at zero and the next one is at three so these are our zeros. So I'm writing here zeros. Okay. What we notice is that the graph of the function 
should face downwards open downwards since it is negative negative means right side down right so that means right side is down is kind of like this and remember this particular zero here has multiplicity of two now and all these are linear right so all these are this is multiplicity of two these are linear right so one is linear so the graph will really cross like this it will cross like this however on this side it turns correct since this is of order two right so that helps you to understand how to sketch now let me use another ring to sketch this function so if you are using this polynomial it is going downwards kind of like this right I'm using a lighting because I'll use this portion also to uh, make table of values right so and then you can connect them and that's how beautifully you can sketch the polynomial once you have sketched the polynomial you can easily write down the solution and the solution for us here is we are looking for portion which is less than zero that means negative zero is not included so definitely it is from minus 2 towards infinity right that is one portion also from minus 2 to 0 correct so this is think this is imagine this is number line in that case that is the solution is it okay so you can see the solution is from minus infinity to minus 2 right union from minus 2 to 0 union from 3 to infinity is it okay so that is the part of solution for the given inequality which we have found using graph simple as that so to sketch a graph you need to know zeros their order and leading coefficient that helps of course degree also yeah. degree and leading coefficient right so four things let me highlight these so you need zeros you need multiplicity you need order you need degree and leading coefficient these five things are required now so you get your solution so that was our method one and now we are going to use the second method so let's use table of values let's use the second method now to solve the same question so we'll write down all the factors now so what we have here is we have zeros and then we have these factors the first factor i'm writing is x plus 2 whole square so that is one factor x plus 2 whole square so i've taken care of this factor then we have will include minus with x okay so this is another factor minus x i'm including minus with x and the third factor is x minus 3 for us so these are the three factors we will take test points so these zeros divide the plane into one two three four regions so there are three zeros dividing into four regions so we'll take test points in each region so test point here between minus infinity to minus two could be minus three between minus two to zero could be minus one zero to three we can take number two and 3 onwards we can take number 4 so that is, these values are our test points so we'll test with reference to these points whether these factors are positive or negative is that clear okay now x plus 2 whole square will always be positive so we can write positive in four regions as far as minus of x is concerned it will make negative and negative reverse the sign so negative 3 will become positive negative 1 will become positive 2 positive will become negative 4 will become negative x minus 3 if I substitute minus 3 for x we get negative number minus 1 we get negative number if I write 2 2 minus 3 is also negative but 4 minus 3 is positive so this is what we get now when you multiply these three factors what do you get Two positive and a negative when multiplied gives you negative two positive and a negative gives you negative two negatives gives you positive and this negative also gives you negative we are looking for less than zero that means our solution should be 
the intervals when we are getting negatives and clearly these intervals are from minus infinity to minus 2 the first one then from minus 2 to 0 the second one and then from 3 to infinity do you see that so using these intervals we can test for regions which are positive or negative and then conclude our answer so both the methods will give you always the same result and so our answer here is that the solution is from minus 2 or uh, minus infinity to minus 2 do not include minus 2 is it okay that is a 0 and uh, also 3 to infinity right so that is how you could write down the solution for the given inequality I hope that helps thank you and all the best